space these elements out and I'm gonna hit delete and cancel the bottom one and hit left arrow forward slash and that closes that closes the div that we created up. I always like to meaning everything here now if I click there it is it's aligned to the center you say wow Graham that is cool let's actually you can preview it by clicking the little globe here and going to preview preview in Firefox and there is your uh, layout your design but you're not satisfied with this no you are not satisfied with this you want more out of it so I'm gonna show you what to do here you you want you know you want the white the white background it seems to be the problem right I mean I'm sure it is for most of you guys maybe it's just cuz I'm a designer freak but uh yeah I see something different going on here so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go back to Photoshop and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide all our layers but our background layer so I can hold down control shift click the eye icon and go down the list what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract the background layer so I can select that I'm just gonna hide everything there with control H select my rectangular marquee tool marquee set the mode to normal and we're just gonna get a square from top to bottom selection hit control C to copy it control N to create a new document it already creates it with the right amount of pixels and width and height hit enter hit control V to paste it hit control S to save it <laughs> gotta learn these gotta learn these hotkeys guys that's what I'm trying to help you with make you really fast and anyway you go then to Photoshop from Photoshop you go into images and let's save this as a JPEG and let's call this background background now one thing you're gonna notice once we do this <coughs> is oh, wrong thing it's my YouTube channel it's a very good looking YouTube channel should I say one thing you're gonna notice is if we made this repeat in the document it would only repeat to here because this is how tall the document is and everything below it would be white so we need to set the physical background color to technically where this ends here at the bottom, whatever color that is. So we're just going to grab that color with the eyedropper tool. Going to grab that color and it is right there. Just going to hit control C. That is the technical color, the ending color. And we're done. That's it. We're done with Photoshop. We're just going to minimize this. We're going to go back to Dreamweaver and we're going to implement our CSS which makes all this possible so before you wanted to put the CSS in, CSS in before the end of the head here's the opening of the head and the end of the head all your JavaScript that gets executed from the user or your uh, CSS that needs to be loaded when the page loads is going to come up there so we're going to do left arrow style type equals text slash CSS Sorry if you have to hear that in the background. It looks like somebody is mowing the lawn. Good times. Good times. Anyway, you type in body, and then your left curly bracket, and your right curly bracket, and Dreamweaver will automatically format that for you. And here's what we're going to do. Let's get our background image in here. So you type background-image, and it should bring up a prompt. Just go ahead and browse to it so you get the correct directory images and we call that background.jpg there it is already in there for us and a terminator to end that line or a semicolon but we're also going to do now background dash repeat and what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to repeat that background image either along the x-axis or the y-axis and we made it really tall so we're gonna be repeating it along the x-axis repeat x and we need to set the background color that we grabbed from Photoshop, the raw background color of the document. So wherever that image ends, we need it to continue with the background color. And I'm going to the number sign, control V to paste that. And that is it. We're done. Now if I click in here, if I control S to save that, and there, that is starting to look pretty nice. Let's see what this looks like. Click the globe, preview in Firefox, and that is what I'm talking about. Do you see where I'm going with this? Very powerful, guys. You need to know. Uh, you need to know this stuff if you're going into web design. How to, you know, export. <coughs> excuse me. 
export from Photoshop to Dreamweaver. And in Dreamweaver, you need to have an idea of what you need to do for the background. You need to repeat it along the x-axis, then repeat it. And you use CSS. And this is all stuff that I'm going to cover in more detail in later tutorials, so don't worry. But um, I'm just saying as some advice, if you're going into web design, it is very, very important that you know CSS and you know HTML. With that, guys, I think I'm going to end this tutorial. Expect more tutorials from me in the future around coding and more advanced Photoshop user interface tutorials. My name is Graham, guys, with Tutorial Clarity. Take care.